Thank you. Mickey Jackson. Come on down. How you doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, in a little while, a few minutes, we're going to have a, um, an honoring, a tribute, a recognition of a very good friend to all of us, uh, Chris Shabell. You know, Chris was gracious. She was so gracious. She was gracious to a lot of us when we didn't really deserve it. I think I'm in that bunch, and I know a, a lot of city council members have been. She wanted a better life for people, and she did all she could. I mean, I really can't think of Chris holding back on anything. And she was witty and wry. She understood exactly what was going on every minute, whether she said something or not, she'd have a twinkle in her eye. And I think we'll all miss her. I think the entire city will be poorer because of it. And when she approached you and, and criticized often, it was well thought out, and it was actually in your own best interests. I can't think of how many times that if the city council had actually listened to this very wise person, they would have had a lot more success and stayed out of a lot of trouble. So I ask you going forward to just think of Chris, think of her whispering in your ear, think what she would have thought of what you're doing. You know, she didn't approve of the mess at the Millennium Towers and she predicted the trouble. Had anyone listened to her, it wouldn't be a problem now. That's just one example. Keep yourselves out of trouble, keep the city out of trouble, Think of people first. Think of Chris Chabelle. That is the very best tribute we could ever give a truly remarkable and very, very humble person. Thank you very much. Mr. O'Farrell. Colleagues, I ask that we adjourn today's meeting in the memory of Chris Chabelle. You just heard from Mickey Jackson, who sort of uh, gave a great primer on who Chris was, and I know that my colleagues Paul Krikorian and Tom LaBonge also knew her well and probably uh, others around this horseshoe. Born in London, England and raised in Langolan, North Wales, Chris and her family moved to Southern California in 1975 and soon after settled in Hollywood. Throughout her life, Chris had been one who got involved and provided constructive leadership that brought people together. Her community involvement included membership or board member status with the following organizations in the Hollywood area, including LA Job Corps Community Relations Board, Hollywood Hills Improvement Association, Hollywood Free Clinic, Hollywood Boulevard Community Council, Hollywood Coordinating Council, Hollywood Police Community Relations Committee, Hollywood Women's Club, Hollywood Chapter of the ACLU, Greater Hollywood Civic Association, Hollywood Highlands Democratic Club, and the Hollywood Project Area Committee. As one of the founding members and a, a board member of the Hollywood Studio District Neighborhood Council, she was very active in fundraising for community programs, including the holiday party for children in need at Lemon Grove Park. Among being involved with many organizations, boards, and in the community, Chris was the co-host and producer of Neighborhood Point of View, a program well known for debating hot topics in the city of Los Angeles and interviewing top-level politicians and personalities. In 07 and 08, she was voted as one of LA Weekly's People of the Year and was highlighted in their publication. She continued relentlessly to fight to maintain the heritage and history of Hollywood by thwarting development that would diminish the neighborhood. Developments simply did not move forward without Chris's approval, garnering her the nickname, the Godmother of Hollywood. Although Chris had major health issues over many years, she continued to remain very active in community issues that affected the quality of life for everyone around her. Chris Chabelle passed away this past Saturday, November 2nd. She is survived by daughters, Jackie and Patricia, who are, here, are with us today, among many friends, including Mary Pat Donovan and, and others, and grandson, Reese Chabelle. Um, and I wanna thank you colleagues uh, for adjourning Council in her memory. Thank you. Oh, great. Thank you. Seeing no other members, that'll conclude the council meeting. We're adjourned. Thank you.